Hey, I'm JC Frias. I'm from Texas, living in Utah, with my partner of three years and our pets. I love hosting dinner parties and gatherings, and enjoy making everything look adorable in my home. Join me on learning some tips of doing it yourself and being creative. Hey you, <clears throat> oh my goodness. Hey guys, how's it going? It is another Halloween video. I know, I am super busy right now. I've been doing a lot of crafts and there's still more videos to come. Um, so I'm excited. I think I say that in every video that I'm excited, but I, like, I really am. It's not just like a filler. So besides that, this um, project I'm doing with the pumpkins is so awesome. Um, you can do it on different pumpkins. You can do it on your orange ones or your white ones or whatever you want. But it is going to have the lace going on it and it is a simple, simple project, super cheap and your pumpkins will last forever throughout the whole Halloween season versus having to carve them out and then they die after like three, four days and they're mush and they're disgusting. Mine actually die like after the second day. Um, so yeah, not very good. Because you put a candle on that and it burns everything. So, hello. First step is you're going to want to pick out your pumpkins and you're going to want to make sure you wash them and dry them all. You, you don't want them to have any dirt, any dust, anything on them. You want a nice, smooth, clean surface. And so these have already been washed and are looking really good. Second step is you're going to want to go to the fabric store. I went to Hancock and they have the best deal right now. They have tons of Halloween lace that came in and just other lace as well. And all their stuff was like 40% off, like a yard. So it was like a really great deal. And you don't need a lot of lace. I bought a foot of each, and that is more than enough. But I have a feeling I'm going to do a lot of these pumpkins. So, so you want to go ahead and pick out your lace. I picked out four different laces. I think I'm going to use two of them only on this, but we'll see. So in order to get this like creepy vine cobweb effect, you're going to want to make sure you cut your black lace around the pattern so that you're able to stick it on your pumpkin. I'll show you what I mean. First you go ahead and you put a coat, a very light coat, of this Mod Podge on here. And the Mod Podge dries on clear. Okay. Grab your lace after and apply this Mod Podge just on top, kind of like that. I know it's a little messy, but the end effect is really cool. So now that I have that, I'm just going to go ahead and apply that. Okay. Then, your brush, I like using these because it soaks up some of the Mod Podge. I go back and I just press it on the ends. You see how it releases some of that Mod Podge glue stuff? This is what you do. And then you just do that around your whole pumpkin how you want it. And then after that, you apply second coat. Okay, so this is what it looks like with all the Mod Podge applied. Now you can leave it like this, or you can take your Sharpie and outline it, and then grab your black paint and paint in it. I'll show you some other options as well. Another thing you can do is paint your pumpkin a different color if you want it like red or green or yellow or whatever color you want it and then add the lace you probably wouldn't do it black because you're going to have black lace but maybe you do black pumpkins and white lace anyways yeah so that's um this and i'll show you some photos at the end and how it all came out this was such a fun and easy project you guys anyone can seriously do this Get your Mod Podge out and get crafting. It's going to look darling. I hope this was an easy tutorial to follow along and make sure to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Facebook to be in the know of more awesome projects. And don't forget, feel free to tell all your friends. Thanks you guys!